So this question presents what we call a system of equations. And when we have a system of equations, there are two methods that we can use to solve a system of equations, which is elimination. And the other method is called substitution. Now, substitution is a useful method, but typically only if there's a variable in one of the equations in the system that is already isolated, meaning there's no coefficient, there's no number in front of the variable. When we look at what we have, we don't have that scenario, right? Every x and y has a number in front of it, which means we're going to be better served by using elimination. Now, knowing that, I am going to now read the question first and then see if there's any other details I should be aware of. But usually when you have a system of equations, you kind of just figure out which one of these methods you want to use and go for it. Um, so the question says, based on the system of equations above, what is the value of 5x plus 5y? Right. So elimination will help me to figure out what x is and it'll help me to figure out what y is. And what I have to remember is that my answer is neither of those values. It really is, you know, the solution to 5x plus 5y. So I'm going to rewrite my system of equations, 2x plus 3y equals 1,200, and 3x plus 2y equals 1,300. So elimination, the process, the method elimination basically says, hey, choose a variable that you want to get rid of. So I'm going to say, let's get rid of x first. Why not? It doesn't matter which one you choose. So I'm going to choose x. What could I multiply one or both equations by so that the x terms would cancel each other out, would eliminate each other when I add those equations together? So I am going to say, hey, if I were to multiply this top equation by uh, 3, if I were to multiply this bottom equation by negative 2, then the result would lead me to being able to eliminate my x values, right? So when I multiply by 3, I get 6x, right, plus 9y equals 3,600. And when I multiply by negative 2 for the bottom equation, I get negative 6x minus 4y and minus or negative 2,600. So now when I add these two equations together, I achieve exactly what I sought out to achieve by eliminating the x value. But what I have left is 5y, right, 9y minus 4y equals 1,000. Now dividing both sides by 5, I get that y is equal to 1,000 divided by 5, which is 200. So that's my y value. I can then take that y value and say, hey, I'm going to go back to my original equation, the first one that said 2x plus 3y equals 1,200, and say, well, now that I know that y is 200, I can just substitute that number in for y. So I have 2x plus 3 times 200 equals 1,200, right? Which means that 2x plus 600 equals 1,200. I can then subtract 600 from both sides, leaving me with 2x equals 600. And then divide, I'm sorry, divide by 2. I'm not sure why I wrote a 3. Divide both sides by 2 there and get x equals 300. All right, so now I know that x equals 300, 2 equals, I'm sorry, y equals 200. But again, the question is what is 5x plus 5y? So that's going to become 5 times 300 because, again, x was 300 plus 5 times 200, again, because y was equal to 200. 5 times 300 is 1,500. 5 times 200 is 1,000. And those two things added together is 2,500. And therefore, that is the answer here.